go, Brave Nation. This bout is three five-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of four wins and no losses. He stands 181 centimeters tall and weighs already 70.8 kilograms. Representing Soko Team and fighting out of Luxembourg, please welcome Jan Lies and his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, this man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of four wins and no losses. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighs already 70.6 kilograms. Representing KHK Team Bahrain and fighting out of the magnificent Kingdom of Bahrain. Give it up for Magomed Magomeda. Your referee is Raven Lightsaber. Big advantage coming out of that southpaw stance. Your referee is Raven Lightsaber looking slick with the new haircut inspired by yours truly. Leg kicks opening up from Jan Lias, but the perfect counter coming from Michael Medov. Jan Lias has been working diligently on his wrestling with Isa Isakov. Trying to dig in for an underhook to raise the level of Magomed Magomedov, but just relentless and strong as Magomedov. There's that big takedown, but Jan Lias not giving it up easy, pops right back up. And just how grueling is this aspect of mixed martial arts, Kirk? Stylically, stylistically, Phil, this is an incredibly interesting fight. It's not just that they're both 4-0. It's that Magomed Magomedov is an incredible grinder. Everything you try to do, he's going to try and jump you and do it better and faster. Jan Lias is an incredible finisher. He can highlight finish with strikes and with submissions. But right now, he's playing Magomed's game. He's getting ground. It's difficult to come off with those highlight reel finishes if you don't have the space. The game of Jan Lias is predicated on finding his distance, his range of motion quickly. The best way to suppress that is exactly what Magomedov is doing right now and taking away that space between them. So far, good defense being illustrated by Jan Lias. Commentator's curse, just as I say that, he gets taken down. I feel bad. Sorry, Jan Lias. Transition right into side control. Taking him down, Phil, is hard. Keeping him down even harder in the sport. Statistically, it's harder to keep a guy down than it is to take him down. This is a critical moment for Magomed Magomedov. Jan Lias trying to base off, trying to use his hands as a starting point, but again, just that vice-like grip of Magomedov. May look for a trip takedown here, more side on than he is front or back. Magomed very wise that he's mixing in strikes. Little stop, we're not sure just for what. Not quite sure what Rebin Sabre saw there, but he is a world-class official, so I'm sure if it was stopped, it was what with good reason. Finger may have inadvertently slid through the uh, cage, for example. Magomedov has a grip of that ankle, pulls it beautifully as leverage, and again, puts Jan Lias on his back. Magomed very, very wisely mixing in strikes wherever he can. He knows in mixed martial arts, if you simply wrestle and the fighter on bottom is throwing punches back, you may not have it on the judge's scorecard. But when you wrestle and you mix in those knees, you mix in those strikes from top, even if they're not particularly heavy, you're ahead on the judge's scorecards. And that's what we're seeing right here. Doing a great job thusly of just controlling and immobilizing the hips of Jan Lias, who's trying to dig in with butterflies, but the hips of Magomedov are heavy and just pressing down, not giving Jan Lias any space, space with which to work. Beautiful little illustration here of wrestling versus jiu-jitsu. Smart wrist control again being exhibited by Magomedov, taking away that base of Jan Lias. He needs to get to an elbow, get to a hand. You can't do that if your opponent has wrist control, releases it just to land a little pot shot. And it's such intelligent cage awareness and generalship from Magomedov. Still looking for that Dagestani handcuff. Doing just enough here with his strikes to keep himself honest, to keep Rebin Lightsaber from standing them up. And happy to say, again, this is the position we talk about almost every show, that anchor position. You used to see fighters try and hurry into side, trying to hurry into mount. But right now, they're happy to sit in that half mount position, if you will. But great job to reclaim guard from Lias. 
Awesome. He just needs to make just a little bit of rule, a room, maybe shift his hips out, go to a knee shield, and try and pop up to standing. Right now, he is losing this contest. Did put the foot on the hip of Michael Madoff, but Michael Madoff wise to it and just cuts the hips beautifully. Nice shot from bottom. A very smart control throughout the opening round here. Bill, we got less than a minute to go. I am liking that second elbow as well from bottom. Now there's a third. If I know Magomed at all, there may be an elbow coming back at him. It's usually the term wet blanket is said in a derogatory fashion. I mean it in the most complimentary of fashions now talking about Magomedov. He is quite literally just encompassing, engulfing. Jan Lias. This is a wet electric blanket, shocking his opponent from time to time. It was a wonderful simile. Metaphor, simile? One or the other, it was wonderful. Great sentence construction there by the OG of mixed martial arts, Kirik Jeunesse. Again, just happy to sit in that half guard position, land his strikes, accumulate points en route to what I'm sure is a 10-9 round, Kirik. Absolutely, Phil. This was just a description of how you went around. <laughs> I like the real KO. I like the real So what do you do? Blanket them, but not just with wrestling. Blanket them with wrestling. And this fight. Exactly how you went around. And I guarantee you, it's now 10 9. Rock a bit. Rock a bit. And he asked me to do it for all the other ones. And he said, as soon as that angle was taken away, as soon as that was taken away, and get away. Kicks to the calf, kicks to the inside of the calf can be launched from even farther away than can a leg kick. You gotta be in close, close to hit that body. Don't do it, Jan Lias. Jan Lias needs to implement that little bit of movement you were talking about. There's Jan those calf kicks. Jan Lias doing a good job popping forward and back, but the problem with it is, and there you saw it, if you pop back a second time, you're gonna run into that fence and you need a new strategy. Intelligent work from Jan Lias there, aware of the takedown. But Kirk, a question I wanna ask you, does the threat of the takedown make a dynamic striker a little bit more gun shy? That was the body kick I talked about, Phil. He threw it and now his opponent's in on him and he, he may well get taken down here. If he doesn't, it's huge, and he it, it, it could be the turning point in the fight. The last thing Jan Lias wants, wants right now is to spend the remaining four minutes of this fight on his back, trying to raise that level. But again, the ankle pick of Magomedov could be forthcoming here. Ladies and gentlemen of Brave Nation, those hands just came together. If those fingertips, if that gable grip gets solidly together just beneath those hips, we are gonna see a takedown. We literally are, 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 are a centimeter, two centimeters away from a full grip. If that grip becomes full, there will be a takedown. If it doesn't, there may not. Did have the hands connected at one stage there, but again, good defense. And just how draining is this gonna be for both men, Kirk? For both. There's, there's, there's defensive wrestling that's relatively inactive. That's not what we're seeing here. We're seeing active defensive wrestling and extremely active offensive wrestling, but these are perfectly conditioned athletes. And again, it just it's a testament to the strength of Magomedov that like, Jan Lias is not a small man. The fact that he can hold him against the cage like this is a testament to just how strong he is. Can he do it for an extended period of time would be the question I'm asking. Good hips from Jan Lias. Done a good job, just instead of throwing the hips right back forward, he popped them in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, Brave Nation, the positioning of the head, Magomed's head positioning is crucial here. If his head gets as much as three or four centimeters out of position, an elbow right behind the ear can put his lights out. This is a very scary place that needs to be maintained with 
absolute precision. Nice work from Lias to bring that level up and now get the head underneath the chin of Magomedov. Just skirted the face with the knee. Nice level change from Magomedov, but eats a cheeky little elbow to the side of the head. Perfectly legal, well placed. Again, digging in for the underhook, but there's the inevitable takedown. Bound to be frustrating for Jan Lias in this position, but he's doing all the right things, trying to get it back against the cage. Has the hand there, but that hand looping around the waist from Magomedov is an illustration of just the control he has on the ground. Wall walking is not an 80s mega selling toy. Wall walking is now one of the central qualities that you need in mixed martial arts. But with Magomed on top, it is extremely difficult to do, as you can see. And again, sumptuous head position there from the KHK man, just underneath the chin of Jan Lias. Jan Lias trying to get that butterfly in, elevate and sweep, but. And Phil, there's Magomed throwing some shots. That's what he needed to do. He was a little bit shot deficient the last 60 seconds or so. Wrestling alone may or may not sway the judges. If you're getting hit by the person you're trying to take down, it may well not. But now we're seeing some of those strikes. 90 seconds to go in the second round here of our second boy at Brave 50 from beautiful Ararad Fort and Combat Kings in Bahrain. So far, the fights have not disappointed. Again, Magomedov with the head control. Jan Lias fighting back. And this is what you've described as a tantamount to giraffe's neck fighting, Kirik. It is indeed, yeah. The uh, positioning of the head is, is one of the, the central but uh, little understood fights. We're not going to see it right now, but we'll jump back to it when the two are on the wall. Oh, Almost saw a flying knee land perfectly there. It did land, but just not 100% clean. And if it did land, it talks to, oh, another big takedown from Magomed Magomedov, and that is bound to be frustrating for Jan Lias. Again, finds himself on his back, not able to really mount any of that trademark offense that we are used to seeing from him, Kirik. Phil, you know what La Jan Lias can do. I know what mm -hmm. he can do. So does, his po so does his opponent, and that's why Magomed Magomedov is all over him and throwing plenty of shots to stay ahead on the judges' scorecards. And it speaks to the mastery of the game plan implemented and formulated at KHK Team Bahrain by Eldar Eldorov to, to have the analytical approach and the analytical awareness to know that you have to take away the greatest tools of a dynamic striker that you can take it down and take it down wrestling. Absolutely. It's not a hard part, but not easy. Step in and pose the will. Doing whatever you want. Will, walk it. If you need ill replay again, that's the one spot you can do. Hell, it's near you. fight but he it, that shot has to be set up and chosen very very carefully he can't go for it right now if he does he's simply going to get taken down again and there is going to be a rinse and repeat I was just about to say Kirik in having to be the more offensive fighter in the third and final round he will be leaving himself vulnerable to the takedown and Magomed Magomedov will almost be inviting that to time his takedown exhibiting that beautiful wrestling Some of the greatest parts of mixed martial arts are hidden. They're secret. You don't see them. You see the takedown. You see the punch, the kick, the highlight reel flying knee. But what really matters is the setup. And what's going on right now is Jan Lias is trying to set up his opponent. He's trying to lead, reach that arm out, get his opponent thinking about something else, and then launch a potentially fight-ending strike. He's doing beautiful distance managing, nice fainting. Let's see if it works. Neil Mirovajovic in the corner of Jan Lias, animated, trying to call his fighter on, trying to set up that big left hand right down the pipe. Nice duck under from Mago Medov. 
Nice little elbow, or nice little knee rather. I thought he was going to free him off and throw the elbow there, but again, much better work from Jan Leas. Duck under takedown, and that is mastery at its finest. Phil, that, that is was wrestling. timing mastery. Timing is everything. Brave Nation, it's everything in this sport, and that is as good as you will ever see timing on a takedown. Just ducked under, turned the corner beautifully, seamlessly, and now this is where he will want Jan Leas to spend the remaining three minutes and 30 seconds of the third and final round. To whose advantage is it that it's happened right in the center of the Brave Arena Kirk? Right now, our man on top is in ascendancy. Without that cage to wall walk up, it's going to be very, very difficult to pop up to standing. The one thing that Magomed has to do is continue throwing shots. If he doesn't, if he simply tries to wrestle his opponent, he may, the fight may get stood up. Good work from Jan Leas to get up, but Magomed Magomedov just follows him against the cage. Big moment for Jan Lias, however. That was a huge, potentially a huge moment in this fight. He did make it back up to standing. He knows if necessary, he can do it again. He needs to be wary of the double leg. There it is. Beautiful trip. Was in the position for the double. Needs to be wary of the guillotine. Not so much a threat from Jan Lias. And he's bound to be a frustrated figure in the center of the Brave Arena right now, Kirk. He is, this is a little bit like, like wrestling a, a big wave on the beach. It's like wrestling rain. It's all over him and he can't do anything to stop it right now. Yeah, and just showing, like his hip, it's almost as if he has shorts made of concrete. His hips are that heavy, they're completely immovable. Nice elbows from bottom by Jan Lias. Again, he's very much in this fight. He's also got terrific submissions trying to open up the hips, but Magomed Magomedov is just such an intelligent fighter. He's acutely aware of what Jan Lias is trying to do. He's squaring himself off. He's keeping himself out of danger. He's keeping beautiful composure in there. About 100 seconds left, Brave Nation. Right. Jan Lias actually striking fairly effectively to the head. But as we know in mixed martial arts, it's incredibly difficult to win a round off your back. More often than not, even aesthetically to the uninitiated, the man on top is the man winning the fight. He absolutely, statistically speaking, is the man most likely to win this bout. Big credit to the guard of Jan Lias. If, it wasn't, if he wasn't so adroit with a guard position, it would have been passed long ago. He's got about one minute left to try to end this bout. Revan Sabre taking a long, hard look at the bout. Very impressive striking from bottom. Would you rather see Lias continue with that kind of a strategy, trying to land elbows from the bottom, or would you rather see him trying to work his way to his feet? He will not end this fight with those elbows from bottom. He needs to try and get perhaps a knee shield in there or a foot in the hip, make some space, throw a couple of those elbows, get his opponent to shy back and come up to standing as quickly as he can. But he's got short time now, less than 30 seconds. And what you see right there, what's illustrated there is the problem with trying to stand in mixed martial arts. It's the sim statistically, it's the easiest way to get your back taken. You try and pop up to standing and it's it's frying pan into the fire. You got an opponent on your back, dropping knees into the ribs and the legs. And for just the second time in the food career of Magomed and Michael
literally in the third round like you did in Newton's time the first round. Absolutely, Phil. Level changing, swinging in on your opponent, getting underneath them, trying to take him down for an extended period of time. It's much harder to try and execute that. It's to protect it. It's, uh, the, the grind is not an easy strategy, but I do believe that it's paid off. And what you find out from a roaring lion of brave Carlos Kramer right about now. All right, Brave Nation, another tough battle in the historic Brave CF 50 cage. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout. 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the red corner, Magomed Magomedov!